Happy Thanksgiving guys, before we jump into the video I wanted to let you know about a sale that we're having at Onkari Floors. We have it once a year and you can get shoes like these brand new ones for 20% off and some of our old classics for up to 50% off. So if you want to go shopping, have fun and enjoy the video. Welcome back to One Dapper Street. It's cold outside so we're looking at layering today and with look number one I want to show you two things. One, one of my absolute favorite base layers in the fall is the turtleneck. That's of course on top of my heat tech which I tend to wear every day when it's really cold outside, both the leggings as well as the top. But I love wearing turtlenecks aesthetically as the base layer. And another thing I love doing is adding a denim jacket underneath a coat. Now a denim jacket isn't usually thought of as a mid layer so much, but I really like doing it especially because if you head inside, you can take the coat off and you still have a little bit of layering going on. So it does provide extra heat, but primarily for me it's about style. And in this case I'm wearing black jeans and Chelsea boots. We're not gonna focus on the bottom so much today though, it's more about the top. Second up, I know it's not reinventing the wheel in fashion, but something I wanted to draw attention to is wearing sweaters underneath blazers. I feel like usually we're used to wearing blazers with shirts, in the summer it may be t-shirts, for me in the winter it's crew neck sweaters. And you can have a lot of fun with color here. In the base layer I really like playing with, you know, a dark orange or a mustard color or a dark green, but then muting it a little bit with the top layer, in this case a blazer. Obviously if you want to step outside and it's cold, throw a coat on top, but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. I sometimes like going a little bit lighter with the layers, so if you have a strong base layer like the Heatec that I mentioned before, then the sweater, and then the blazer, sometimes it's enough to put on a scarf and then you really show off the blazer while you're walking around outside. I don't know, sometimes I, I used to get tired of my coats, so I wanted to just leave those in the closet and just focus on the blazer I was wearing. So this is one way to pull that off, and I'm wearing the same jeans for this look, just with the black leather version of the Chelsea's from Ankari Floors. Look number three is the perfect example for something I firmly believe in, that is that fashion is subjective. I really like the look of layering two button up shirts, but I've run into guys that just simply didn't like it. And bottom line is fashion is subjective, I'm here for inspiration, take what you want and leave what you don't. But in this case I'm wearing a denim shirt as a base layer and I layered a second button up shirt on top. It's a plaid shirt from H&M that has some tan in it, some black, navy and a lighter blue. So it's picking up on the lighter blue of the denim shirt, but it also picks up on the tan of the corduroy jacket that I chose to wear up top with a faux shilling collar, and it also picks up on the black of the jeans that I was wearing for the first two looks that I still have on currently. The second shirt doesn't add a lot of heat, but it adds a little bit of warmth to the outfit, but primarily it adds a lot of style with different colors, different textures and different patterns. To finish off the look, I chose to wear my dark brown Ankari Flores boots from our launch collection. Halfway through in time to look at a much more dapper option when it comes to layering. I know a lot of you guys are going to the office and need to wear suits, if not daily, at least a couple times a week. So I wanted to point out that when I wear a suit in the winter, I usually go for a turtleneck instead of a shirt. For one, it just automatically increases the comfort, it automatically makes you warmer. But also, if you take off the suit jacket and just wear it by itself, it actually makes for a nice casual look. So if you want to go to a bar afterwards at night, have an after hour drink or whatever, you actually look casually dressed up. The second thing I want to point out with this look that layering a coat up top doesn't have to be as dull as some people might think. It doesn't have to be a black coat, a gray overcoat or even a navy which I personally love all three of those but you can also go for something a lot more fun like this Bordeaux overcoat that I still have from last season from Tommy Hilfiger. Once again finish the look off with a pair of Ankari Flores boots, in this case our dress boot and my absolute number one choice when it comes to suiting and booting this fall winter. Look number five revolves around one staple in pretty much every man's closet and that's the hoodie. In this case it's a zip up hoodie in a Bordeaux color from Paige. Here I chose to wear it on top of a white t-shirt as a basis and that white you can also see in the pattern of the jacket that I chose to wear up top. The jacket is from Zara, it's a wool jacket in a 
tan color combined with navy and as I said a little bit of white in there hoodies are actually quite versatile they're obviously more on the casual side this is the most casual look you'll see between the seven looks that I have for you guys today but you can also have a lot of fun with it and layering them underneath a blazer, layering them underneath overcoats. There's options for you to make a hoodie a little bit more dressed up slash making a dressed up look a little bit more dressed down. On the bottom half, we got dark blue twill pants from H&M and brown combat Ankari Flores boots. Second to last look and another look that is more suited for when it's not super cold outside or if you just are tired of your overcoats and want to show off the outfit underneath. In this case, I'm wearing a turtleneck, which like I told you is one of my favorite base layers for the season period. And I'm wearing a plaid shirt on top and once again, a scarf wrapped around my neck. Frankly, I get the coldest in the winter around my neck. Maybe it's because it's long or maybe it's because the rest of my body is covered in heat tech, but scarves are a massive point of investment and a big part of layering. Honestly, most of these looks, if it was cold outside, I'd probably be wearing with a scarf. So that's just a point I wanted to make. Here we have a pretty much all navy base that goes from all the way to the boots, to the jeans, to the turtleneck and the scarf. And then we just have a little bit of fun with the color in the plaid shirt from Barber. And that's look number six. On to the last one, another very classic way to approach layering. In this case, I started once again with a denim shirt. This one's from Mango. And then I chose to go with my gray cashmere H&M sweater up top. A crew neck and a button up shirt is a very, very easy classic combination that makes you look dressed up, keeps you warm. And if you finish that combination off with a nice overcoat like the one I'm wearing right now, this one's from Zara. It combines the colors of the sweater and the navy pants from H&M. And it also has some brown tones in it, which I picked back up with the Ankari Flores leather Chelsea boots to create a look that really ties all the colors together and walks the line between casual and elegant really well. That's it from me. I hope you guys like the seven looks. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and let me know which one was your favorite. I'll see you soon with the next one. Until then, stay dapper.